Hello, everybody. I hope you're doing great. Well, uh, the weather has cooled down significantly. It uh, appears that fall is finally here, even in Southern California. So uh, this is the uh, Sunday video for October 25th, 2020. And uh, we'll uh, uh, start by, um, let me just share my screen and then we'll get going on what has been happening and what will be happening in the next couple of weeks in your Calculus 3 class. All right, so uh, you have been studying chapter five, the chapter on double and triple integrals. So this is what you see um, as you go into Canvas, right? Um, the first couple are sort of, you know, you can ignore these. Um, and for this uh, particular chapter, we have another uh, a page on formulas and you can sort of ignore this one as well since I covered this topic um, in, the, um, in the video. So you have been studying, I, I hope this past week, you had uh, sections one, two, three and four covered, right? So you have just got started on triple integrals and I hope this is where you are. Uh, if you are behind, it's okay. You can, uh, you have plenty of time to catch up at least a couple of days, uh, no, about a week uh, because the uh, next test is not this week, but next week, right? Wednesday, the uh, 4th of November. Uh, and this will be on the entire chapter. I know it goes fast, but this is just a standard uh, a pace for calculus three and typical for calculus class is when we cover two sections every time we meet in the classroom. And since we meet uh, twice a week in the classroom, if we were having a face to face instruction. Uh, so it's standard to cover three or four sections um, on, on a given week. Right. So this coming. Uh, well, by the way, um, I also uh, before section one, I had this uh, special introduction to integrals called what is a definite integral from uh, grade three to chapter three. So I hope you were able to watch that as well. So this coming week, uh, you will be doing the last three sections of this uh, chapter. And uh, so you'll be doing triple integrals in cylindrical and spherical coordinates. This is pretty challenging. And then we have uh, two um, or one application section, which is section six uh, on centers of mass and moments of inertia. And then we have 5.7, which is change of variation uh, variables in multiple integrations. So this is the, uh, the multi uh, variable version of what you know as U substitution. Here we do UV substitution. It's a, a, a lot more complicated than the U substitution, but uh, you will be learning this uh, as well as uh, this um, central point in this section called the Jacobian, which is the determinant of a two by two matrix. All right, um, and then uh, I, will, I would also like, because this is three sections, I would also like you to, uh, to do this. This is the um, triple integral review. Since you have seen many different types of triple and double integrals in this section, um, I try to summarize what you learned in chapter five um, in this. And so this is, a, I don't know, uh, maybe 10 questions uh, on integration. And uh, uh, there's an answer key, as well as a two part video. Uh, where I review all of these questions that I have on triple integral review. Okay, so I highly encourage you to do this this coming week as well. Now, next week, the following week, you will be doing practice test number four. Uh, again, this is optional, but I highly, highly encourage you to do this because your test is coming up, uh, test number four, and this test four will look quite similar to practice test number four. Uh, as always, I have provided the answer key in written form as well as the uh, video form. And so, but that's not until the following week. So for this coming week, focus on finishing chapter five, as well as this uh, review of triple integrals. I hope this makes sense and uh, you should um, be uh, well prepared once you do these things for test number four. Okay, sorry, um, I am uh, still trying to get over uh, the uh, very, very surprise, uh, surprising ending of uh, game four last night of the World Series. If you saw it, that was quite a night. And uh, that's one game to be remembered for decades, in my opinion. Uh, anyway, going back to mathematics, um, you know, again, uh, my, I think you've um, seen the, um, <clears throat> my announcement that uh, this coming Monday, tomorrow, my office hours will be different from usual because of uh, a required meeting I have to attend. Uh, so Monday, 
tomorrow, my office hours will be from 2.30 p.m. to 4 p.m., okay, 2.30 to 4. And on Thursday, I go back to my regular uh, meetings, meeting time, which is 1 p.m. to 2.30. So make a note of that. Okay, now again, uh, you have your uh, study groups. So reach out to other uh, classmates in your study group. I think it's going to be helpful for you to uh, carry on conversations, try to learn from and teach to your, um, your classmates. All right, next week, uh, before test number four, and uh, right after your Halloween night, if you celebrate Halloween in some, some way this year, it'll be different. But anyway, right after that day, uh, as you go into November 1st, uh, we change our time back to the Pacific Standard Time. So don't forget, forget that next weekend. All right, that's it for today. I hope you have a great week. I'll talk to you later. As always, if you have any questions, please, please do not hesitate to contact me. Okay, take care. Bye.